The Good Things About Judas Iscariot It is indeed hyperbolic to say that Judas Iscariot was also a traitor. Scripture will tell us that he was like you and me who are at the mercy of backsliding and backstabbing Christ regardless of method, commission, or omission. This presentation is not about the debate on his actions to sell out Jesus or certain if it was the will of God or the devil. What will surprise you and I is that Judas Iscariot ticked correct almost all boxes concerning the faith walk. Maybe better than you and me. Let the scriptures awaken us and educate us lest we fall. 1 Corinthians 10 12 So beware if you think it could never happen to you, lest your pride become your downfall. Let you and I climb down from our high moral ground and learn something because we only be safe when Christ comes to take his church. And that is only when the probability of Judas Iscariot act in our lives is zero. Let us check Judas Iscariot now. The following narrative, Matthew 10, will help us. Matthew 10, 18. Jesus called his twelve disciples to him. Two things emerge from this statement. Judas believed and followed Jesus like you and me. He was called like all the other apostles, like you and me are called Christians when we believed. He endowed them with the authority to heal the sick and disease and to drive demons out of those who were possessed. Judas was empowered like you and me with the authority to heal sickness and disease and to drive demons out of those who were possessed. Up to this point, the disciples have been mostly following Jesus around, listening to him teach and watching him heal. And so now we call these disciples beloved men not merely disciples or apprentices, but apostles, which means those who were sent as representatives and missionaries. Jesus was prepared to send them into the harvest field to do his Father's work. These are the names of the twelve apostles. Simon, who is called Peter, which means the rock. And his brother Andrew, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot and Judas Iscariot, who betrays him. Judas is officially an apostle, which means those who are sent as representatives and missionaries of the kingdom of God. Jesus sent out these twelve with clear instructions. Jesus, don't go to the outsiders or to the towns inhabited by the Samaritans. Go instead to find and heal the lost sheep. Judas instructed to go soul winning like you and me. Judas instructed to find the lost sheep just like you and me. Judas instructed to heal the broken hearted just like you and me. As you go, preach this message. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Judas instructed to preach and teach the arrival of the kingdom of God. The same message as his teacher. Jesus, like you and me, heal the sick, raise the dead, and cleanse those who have leprosy. Drive out demons from the possessed. You receive these gifts freely, so you should give them to others freely. Judas was empowered like you and me, according to John 14, 12. I tell you this timeless truth. The person who follows me in faith, believing in me, will do the same mighty miracles that I do. Even greater miracles than these, because I go to be with my Father. Do not take money with you. Don't take gold, silver, or even small worthless change. Judas empowered to trust God in all situations like you and me. Do not pack a bag with clothes. Do not take sandals or a walking stick. Be fed and sheltered by those who show you hospitality. 
Judas empowered to trust God in all situations like you and me. According to Psalms 37, 5. Commit your path to the eternal. Let him direct you. Put your confidence in him, and he will follow through with you. When you enter a town or village, look for someone who is trustworthy and stay at his house as long as you are visiting that town. Judas empowered to trust God in all situations like you and me. When you enter this home, greet the household kindly. And if the house is indeed trustworthy, let your blessing of peace rest upon it. If not, keep your blessing to yourself. Judas was blessed to bless others and withhold passing the blessing as he saw fit. Just like you and me. If someone is inhospitable to you or refuses to listen to your testimony, leave that house or town and shake the dust from your feet. This is the truth. Sodom and Gomorrah, those ancient pits of inhospitality, will fare better on Judgment Day than towns who ignore you tomorrow or next week. Listen, I am sending you out to be sheep among wolves. You must be shrewd as serpents and as innocent as doves. Judas was a sheep of God with the propensity to get lost just like you and me. Judas baptized many people according to John 4, 1, 2. Soon the news reached the Jewish religious leaders known as the Pharisees that Jesus was drawing greater crowds of followers coming to be baptized than John. Although Jesus didn't baptize, but had his disciples baptize the people. As part of the disciples, he executed his duties faithfully. I am of the view that no one in the body of Christ plan on how they want and will backslide. Judas was a possessor of eternal life according to John 17:2. You have already given me authority over all people so that I may give you the gift of eternal life to all those that you have given to me. Indeed, Judas was part of those given to Christ. Just like you and me are given to Christ. Judas Iscariot ticked correct almost all boxes concerning the faith walk. 1 Corinthians 10, 12. So beware if you think it could never happen to you, lest your pride become your downfall.